very much for coming out this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get fuck too kind. Hold your applause. This is your song, not mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please hold your applause for I just applied logic. Keys, keys, open doors. Hey guys, this is Jaron Morris Photo here. In depth review of the Drone Frames DRQ 250. The DRQ 250 comes in at 250 millimeters motor to motor, full G10 construction with aluminum hardware. This frame weighs 155 grams with the GoPro plate attached. That's pretty light considering this frame has a clean section. Unlike your normal quad that has two dirty plates holding the arms together, the top dirty plate of this frame is completely cut out in the middle saving weight and allowing room for your ESCs while maintaining proper rigidity and strength. You can purchase this frame directly from DroneFrames.com where he offers three versions, the G10, a carbon fiber, and an almost ready to fly carbon fiber version. Or if you're in the States, you can purchase from ReadyMade RC which carries the carbon fiber and G10 versions as well as any spare parts you may need. Alright, let's get down to business. Since this was my first mini quad build, I went with the popular Gemfan 5x3s with the Sunny Sky 2300 kV motors and 12 amp ESCs. I went with these 12 amp Red Series ones from Ready to Fly Quads. They work really good with the 2300 kV motors and fit perfectly inside the dirty section. I also went with the Multi Wii Flip 1.5 flight controller from Ready to Fly Quads. For such a low cost board, I am extremely happy with how it flies. Now we'll go over some numbers. Fully loaded with GoPro and FPV gear as well as a 1300 mAh 3S, we come in at 578 grams. Removing the GoPro is going to save you quite a bit of weight. I didn't remove the GoPro plate because I'm not flying with the board camera plate, so the weight savings would have been a wash. Without the battery, we come in at 397 grams, which makes this frame a fairly lightweight package. You might be wondering, how durable is this frame? Well, I've got a few clips that'll show you just how durable it is. Assembly of this frame was pretty easy. The frame comes with two copper tabs in which you solder your positive and negative side to. Then you just take your ESCs and solder the wires to the correct side. The arms on the DRQ250 also fold in. All you have to do is remove the innermost screw that connects the arms to the dirty section and fold the arms forward. This makes this already small frame even smaller, something that you could truly just throw in a backpack. A full set of instructions as well as links to a build blog are available at DroneFrames.com. I'm flying with the Predator V2 kit from Fat Shark. This comes with a 600 TV line camera as well as a 250 milliwatt video transmitter. I also upgraded to some ready-made RC circular polarized antennas. You may also be wondering why I have rubber bands all over my quad. The simple answer is it allows my gear to move around in a crash that way it saves it from damage. Although this quad weighs 580 grams, the 5x3 gem fans combined with the 2300 kV motors and a 1300 3 cell really give this quad ample amount of power. It still gives me good top speed as well as the ability to punch out over things when I need to. $15 you can't go wrong with the Multi-Wee Flip 1.5. 
It provides the DRQ250 with nice, stable, smooth flight and gives it that really locked in feeling. All in all, I'm very happy with the DRQ250. It has proven to be plenty durable while still being lightweight. I believe this is a great frame for the money. And now I'll leave you with some clips from my friend Devin Teagan capturing the DRQ250 in action. Oh.